Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a session whereby we are going to interact, learn and also have an experience in mathematics together. We are going to have our mathematics form 4, lesson uh, 16. Uh, in this lesson, we are going to handle the topic on statistics 2, under the subtopic um, whereby we are going to use, uh, we are going mean using an assumed mean. So here you are going to have an assumed mean. Your tutor would be me, Mr. Gerald, uh, but before that, uh, you are going to have the following lesson objectives, whereby by the end of this lesson, you should be able to calculate a uh, mean of uh, given values. Uh, welcome. Uh, let us look at the following example one, whereby we are saying that the table below shows the distribution of marks scored by 40 from four students in a mathematics test. Uh, we have got the max and uh, we have got the frequency. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have got uh, the class. We have got the classes. Whereby our first class is coming from one to ten. That is our first class. And the number of students who scored uh, those marks they are three. That is they are being represented by the frequency. We have got the class width of eleven to twenty, and as you can see, uh, it's being represented by four. This four to means that the number of students who scored the marks between uh, 11 to 20 marks they were four we have got another class width of uh, 21 to 30 is being represented by two and uh, as i have said it means that um, these two it means that they were only two students who, go, who scored marks between uh, 21 to 30 we have got another class width of 31 to 40 whereby uh, we have got five students from 41 to 50 we have got eight students from 51 to 60, we have got 11 students, and from 61 to 70, we have got two students, and 71 to 80, we have got one. 81 to 90, we have got three students, and from 91 to 100, we have got only one student. So if uh, somebody might ask you, what is the total number of students in the class? So what you normally do, you just add the frequencies, because actually um, the students are not repeating themselves. Uh, now, having drawn that, what you normally do, uh, let us uh, look in our next uh, slide. Uh, we first divide by the class width and then subtract 4.5. Here, because our subtopic was uh, we are going to use an assumed mean, we have, dis have decided we are going to uh, have an assumed mean of um, uh, uh, 45.5. And uh, then, actually, we are going to have our x, whereby our x will be the midpoint. So what you normally do, uh, the midpoint here, you get 1, that is um, on the column of mass, you get 1, you add 10, you get 11, then you divide by 2 to get 5.5. .5. So the 5.5 is, is the one that is being represented on our column of uh, 5.5 .5. so you might ask yourself where is it coming from so I've said you just take the class uh, the class width that is 1 and 1 to 10 so you just take 1 plus 10 and then you divide by 2 uh, in, uh, in our next column that is 15.5 uh, what you normally do you get uh, your next class that is 11 you, you add 20 then you divide by 2 when you di when you divide by 2 you are going to get uh, your 15.5 and so forth. So for the 95.5 is coming from what you normally do, you will take your last class that is 91 to 100, then you add 91 plus 100, then you divide by 2 and you are going to get 95.5. Here to make the values much smaller, I have decided to divide them by 10 actually uh, just to, uh, to ease my work. So what I have just done, I have divided um, my x with 10. For example, when I have decided to divide 5.5, um, that is 5.5 I divided by 10 to get 0 0.55 and so for that to 95.5 I've also decided to divide it by 5 to get uh, that is sorry by 10 to get 9.55 I have got my t here whereby my t I'm going to get now the value of x I subtract my assumed mean remember uh, we have got an assumed mean uh, that is for whatever by then uh, or divided by our 10 so what you normally do as uh, we also have got another column of frequency whereby the frequency uh, is being represented on this slide so that one that is not changed you just uh, copy the way it is then we have got an ft whereby this to mean you are getting the frequency you multiply by the um, digits that uh, you got after um, you uh, you subtracted x from the assumed mean um, 
the reason why oh, you can see it is 45.5 remember this 45.5 is being divided by 10 for it for you to get 4.55 that is why we are saying that you subtract 4.55 which is just the same uh, the total number of frequency or the total number of students uh, as you can see are uh, down there is being represented by 40 that is so to mean the total number of students are 40 and the total ft that is the frequency multiplied by t which um, you are going to get to so on our workout, uh, the mean of t, we are going to get the mean of t, you are going to get 2, you divide by 40. And when you divide this in your calculators, you are going to get 0 0.05. So that now our mean of x uh, is being represented, uh, that is, uh, is being represented by the brackets. That is the, um, the sign we use to calculate the mean. So we are going to get the mean of t, we add our assumed mean. So we are going to get our 0 0.05 plus our assumed mean, then you multiply by 10. Remember, we had uh, divided. So now we are going to get uh, 46. Having uh, said that, uh, we are going to have the following activity, whereby you're being told using 48 as an assumed mean, you find the mean of each of the following sets of data. Actually, uh, to to tackle this question, you are going to use uh, the formula that I, as I have indicated. So the best thing you just formulate a table like um, this one, then uh, it would be easy to go. Uh, the values here, so this this question, that is question, both question A and B, you are going to tackle each differently. So you are going to have two tables. And to get um, for more reference in this a lesson, you can refer to KLB, the Secondary Mathematics Students Book 4, which is the fourth edition in Nairobi. It has been certified by the Kenya Literature Bureau. And uh, to get this mathematics lesson from 4 and many more, you can uh, send us an SMS through the number that is on our screen, or you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Elimu TV, or our Facebook page, which is also Elimu TV, or you tweet us at Elimu TV underscore KE. Let us subscribe to all these channels and we shall get uh, more interesting on uh, the mathematics uh, lessons. Thank you.